Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also the like button. Yeah, just go ahead and like the video. You know it's going to be a banger. You know what it is. So, um, here we are today. It is Tuesday, March 2nd of 2021. And as you guys know, on Tuesdays, we have a high intensity um, training. So, for today's workout, I'm going to be doing um, a 40 second sprint. And immediately after the 40 seconds, um, I'm going to be doing 40 calf raises. And then after that is a 30 second break. And then I'll repeat that cycle six times. So that's basically the workout today. And I will see you guys after the warm up. So I just finished the warm up. My hair acting crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna jump straight into the, um, the sets. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I expect it to be a pretty difficult workout. Um, but hopefully, Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully I, I push myself. And hopefully it's not terrible. So I want to jump straight into this workout and I'll see you guys after. Also, before I forget, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my watch. So um, for you guys that don't know, I have a Garmin 4Runner 45S. Um, it's a running watch, but I basically wear it everywhere. It's got so many features. And no, this is not a sponsorship or anything like that. I just really enjoy this watch and I recommend it to you guys if you're out there running so um, basically on Mondays Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays when I'm doing my longer runs um, I'll set it to the run setting so on the run setting it'll show me my distance my time and my current pace and yeah that's what I use for those longer days and then on days like today on Tuesdays which are cardio days I'll go down to or which are high intensity days, I will go down to cardio on the settings and it'll show me my time and my heart rate. So just a little bit about my watch. Um, those features are pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so uh, that's pretty much my rant on the watch. But I really enjoy this watch and I, rec it to, I recommend it to um, anyone who's looking for a good watch out there. So I'll see you guys after the, after the workout. it was a good workout um, I was able to get my heart rate up um, and that's really what you want to get out of the high intensity runs the or the tempo runs um, you want to be able to get your heart rate up and then bring it back down and just just repeat that up down up down so yeah it's just like when you're weightlifting you know um, if you have three sets of ten on a bench press you know you're going to push your muscles for the first set and then you get a break and then you go to the next set. So it's, it's the same thing as lifting your muscle. It just works your heart and your lungs like that. So that's why I think, you know, high intensity workouts are especially good for marathon training um, or any, for any athlete really, um, just because they build that heart muscle and they help your, your lungs improve. So um, something that I want to try and fix is a lot of the content I think that I put out is a lot of quantity um, you know I've been throughout this marathon prep I've been videoing um, three of my workouts during the week and I feel like a lot of that content is just kind of like a feeling and I, I, sort, I sort of want to get back into you know putting out quality stuff over quantity so um, I'm gonna try this week just to film two workouts so I'm gonna film the workout today um, as you guys have already seen and I'm gonna film my workout for Thursday. So um, just to get more of the workout into um, um, into YouTube um, without so much extra, you know, um, nonsense, I guess you could say. Because I just feel like, you know, a lot of the stuff that I've videoed the past eight weeks have been, you know, very short. My workouts have been 
um, very short splits because I want to keep the overall video short therefore you know each workout has to be shorter but just having just videoing two workouts um, during the week um, I'll be able to get more in for each workout and so hopefully that way you guys can understand my process more um, and that can help me you know help you more if that makes sense so yeah it's a great day out today sun's about to set um, well maybe not probably in about an hour but it is 5 30 so that's that's a wrap for today um, I will see you guys on Thursday hey what's up guys it is Thursday morning and on the schedule I have a four mile run um, I forgot to tell you guys about Monday's workout um, on Tuesday so Monday I, I had a three mile run and my girlfriend Haley decided to run with me um, it's definitely different she usually doesn't run with me but I, that was a fun time and I decided not to film um, just because uh, I don't I don't know how she'd feel about the whole filming but I know she supports me with me doing it but I don't know how she would feel um, being behind the camera or being in front of the camera actually um, and yesterday which was Wednesday I ran um, three miles again at a at a higher tempo um, at about a seven minute per mile pace um, I normally do those at a seven minute and thirty second pace but um, I wanted to set my PR for my 5k time on my watch um, which is 20 minutes and 50 seconds right now um, my fastest 5k is 19 minutes and 8 seconds but that was three years ago so it's been a while since I've been up to that speed but as far as the marathon focus uh, and as far as the workout goes for today I'm just going to run the four miles at a 7 minute 30 second pace um, so yeah that's the workout for today. I don't know if I'll film any tomorrow. Um, of course, you guys will see after this. But um, I'm going to jump straight into the workout. And I'll see you guys after. What's up, guys? So I just finished the four mile run. I finished the four miles in 29 minutes and 10 seconds at a 7 minute and 18 second pace per mile. Um, so something I want to talk about is, uh, you know, what I think about, you know, when I run. I normally, I normally don't listen to music. Um, very rarely will you ever see me listening to music while I run. Um, but a lot of times, you know, when I'm running, I think about, you know. Are my shoulders low? Um, am I keeping my stride shorter? You know, just those micro things that, you know, in the long run will help you be able to run farther um, and help with your stamina and stuff like that. I think about the little things. Um, like I said in episode 7, you know, I focus on the process. And, you know, when I'm running, I, I focus on those little things, like I just said, like keeping my shoulders down, um, keeping my back straight. And, you know, just keeping my stride shorter because it's the little things that are going to help you when you're doing endurance runs. Um, I've noticed throughout these nine weeks that that is what has helped me the most. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I think about, you know. You know, of course, you know, once I get those dialed in, I can, you know, I think about whatever, of course. But um, initially when I start running, you know, I want to get in that mindset of, okay, you know what do I need to do in order to have the best run possible so you know that's that's pretty much what I think about when I run um, but yeah I don't listen to a lot of music you know um, I mean I you can listen to music I'm not saying go against listening to music but I'm just saying I'm just saying you know at the beginning of each run you know especially if you're trying to improve um, focus on the little things, focus on, you know, relaxing your shoulders, like I just said, all those things I just said, focus on those little things, and it'll, it'll be an instant impact that will, that will change, you know, how far you can run, you know, and, and things like that, it's just the little things, and that's what I want you guys to get out of this, um, I know I'm rambling, but, uh, 
Yeah, that's basically what I think about, you know, initially at the beginning of each run. So, um, it was a good workout today. Like I said, I don't know if I'll um, run tomorrow, or I don't know if I will film tomorrow. I have a 16 mile run tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, this is the end of week nine, so I'll see you guys next week. See them.